In the annals of ancient Egyptian history, a figure of immense wisdom and mystery emerges, Thoth, the Atlantean. Revered as a master of mysteries and keeper of records, Thoth transcends the bounds of mere mortality, embodying the essence of a mighty king and a potent magician. His legacy is not confined to a single lifetime but stretches across generations, marking him as an eternal guardian of knowledge and power. Thoth's era, a time where the intertwining of magic and reality was not just accepted but revered, represents a pinnacle of esoteric knowledge in ancient Egyptian culture. His influence extended far beyond the role of a traditional pharaoh. As a deity in his own right, Thoth was venerated as the god of wisdom, writing, and magic. This divine association granted him an unparalleled status among both mortals and gods. The period of Thoth's reign was marked by an exceptional pursuit of knowledge and understanding. It was a time when the boundaries of the known world were pushed further by the insatiable thirst for wisdom. The greatness of this era was established through monumental architectural achievements, advancements in the understanding of medicine and astronomy, and the deepening of mystical practices. Temples and pyramids, some of which stand resilient to this day, were not just symbols of power but also centers of learning and repositories of knowledge. The Great Pyramid of Giza, a testament to this era's architectural and astronomical sophistication, aligns precisely with the cardinal points and encodes complex astronomical data. The medical texts of the time, like the Ebers Papyrus, reveal a profound understanding of the human body and a holistic approach to health, combining spiritual and physical healing methods. The sky, too, was not just a tapestry of sparkling lights but a cosmic map, guiding the Egyptians in both their daily lives and their understanding of the afterlife. As Thoth prepared to transition into the halls of Amenti, the mythical underworld of the Egyptians, his legacy was not one of tangible riches but of eternal wisdom. His teachings, encapsulated in texts like the Emerald Tablet, offer profound insights into the nature of reality and the pursuit of inner knowledge. To comprehend the past, especially an era as rich and mystical as that of Thoth, is to understand the foundations of our present. It teaches us that greatness is not just in the monuments we build or the empires we forge, but in the wisdom we gather and pass down through generations. Thoth's story is a compelling reminder that our quest for knowledge, both of the world and of ourselves, is a journey without end, a path that leads us not just through the annals of history but into the depths of our own being. In the spirit of Thoth, let us embrace the pursuit of knowledge with the same fervor, recognizing that in understanding our past, we shape our future. The wisdom of the ancients is not a distant relic but a living, breathing guide, illuminating our path towards enlightenment and inner standing. The teachings of Thoth, as chronicled in ancient texts, speak of an existence vastly different from the transient lives of modern humanity. He describes the Atlanteans, not as beings bound by the common cycles of birth and death that govern us today, but as entities possessing a profound connection with the cosmic forces of life and renewal. According to Thoth, the Atlanteans did not perceive life and death in the same linear fashion as contemporary humans do. Instead, they understood existence as a continuous cycle, an unbroken chain of renewal and regeneration. This perspective was deeply rooted in their advanced knowledge and spiritual practices, which allowed them to transcend the ordinary limitations of human life. Thoth speaks of a menti, a mystical realm that lies beyond the physical world, a place where the river of life flows eternally onward. In the context of Egyptian mythology, a menti is often interpreted as the underworld or the afterlife, but for Thoth and the Atlanteans, it represented something far more profound. It was a source of unending vitality and wisdom, a spiritual reservoir from which they could replenish their life force. This concept of life, as narrated by Thoth, suggests that the Atlanteans possessed a unique understanding of the cosmos and their place within it. They viewed their existence not as a brief sojourn between birth and death but as a continuous journey, an eternal cycle of becoming and unbecoming. The mighty ones of Atlantis, as Thoth recounts, would retreat to a mentee to renew their life force. This process was not a mere physical rejuvenation but a profound spiritual awakening. Each journey to a mentee was a pilgrimage of the soul, a chance to align themselves with the cosmic rhythm and return to the physical realm imbued with deeper wisdom and vitality. The messages of Thoth, particularly this description of Atlantean life, challenge us to expand our understanding of existence. They invite us to contemplate a reality where life is not confined to the physical plane but is a continual dance with the cosmic forces. In this view, death is not an end but a transition, a passage to a different state of being where one can tap into the eternal flow of life. Through the lens of Thoth's teachings, we are encouraged to look beyond the material world and explore the deeper mysteries of existence. 
The legacy of the Atlanteans, as narrated by Thoth, serves as a reminder that our understanding of life and death is merely a fragment of a much larger, more intricate cosmic tapestry. In seeking to comprehend these ancient wisdoms, we embark on a journey that not only connects us with the past but also opens doors to a richer, more profound understanding of the universe and our place within it. Delving deeper into Thoth's revelations, we find that the Atlanteans' approach to existence was steeped in a profound understanding of the metaphysical. They believed in the cyclical nature of life, where death was merely a passage into a different realm of consciousness. In this context, a mentee was not just a mythical location but a symbol of transformation and enlightenment. The Atlanteans, according to Thoth, had developed an advanced level of consciousness that allowed them to harness energies and knowledge beyond the grasp of modern understanding. This was achieved through a harmonious blend of science, spirituality, and magic. Their civilization was a testament to the possibilities that arise when beings are in tune with both the physical and the ethereal realms. In the halls of a mentee, Thoth describes a place of incredible power and wisdom. It was here that the Atlanteans accessed the River of Life, a metaphorical representation of an ever-flowing source of energy and enlightenment. This river symbolizes the continuous flow of universal knowledge and the eternal nature of the soul. The teachings of Thoth suggest that the Atlanteans were not bound by the conventional dimensions of time and space. They understood that their physical forms were merely vessels for a much greater cosmic journey. This knowledge allowed them to live lives of remarkable depth and purpose, constantly seeking to expand their understanding and align themselves with the greater universal truths. The Atlanteans' approach to death was also fundamentally different. They viewed it not as a finality but as a moment of transition, a point of passage into a new form of existence. This belief in the cyclical nature of life and death led to a culture that celebrated the continuity of existence, where the end of one phase was merely the beginning of another. Thoth's message to the present age is a call to rediscover the wisdom of the ancients, to look beyond the material and explore the deeper, more mystical aspects of existence. He urges us to understand that our lives are part of a grand, cosmic cycle, where each experience, each moment of existence, is a thread in the intricate tapestry of the universe. In essence, the teachings of Thoth offer a window into a world where the boundaries between the physical and the spiritual are blurred, where life is an eternal journey of learning, transformation, and enlightenment. As we delve into these ancient wisdoms, we are reminded that the mysteries of the past still hold profound relevance, offering insights that can guide us in our quest for understanding, purpose, and connection with the cosmos. Thoth's teachings, as they delve deeper into the mystique of Atlantean philosophy, unveil a world where knowledge and spirituality are not separate entities but intertwined aspects of a higher reality. The Atlanteans, as depicted by Thoth, were not merely advanced in their technological prowess but were also profoundly spiritual, viewing the universe as an interconnected web of energy and consciousness. In this ancient wisdom, the concept of time was understood in a fundamentally different way. Time was not linear but cyclical, with events and epochs flowing in a continuous loop. This perception allowed the Atlanteans to view their lives not as a finite series of events but as part of an eternal cycle of growth and evolution. Thoth emphasizes the importance of harmony between the inner and outer worlds. The Atlanteans achieved this through practices that balanced their material existence with their spiritual pursuits. Meditation, astral travel, and energy work were integral parts of their daily lives, enabling them to connect with higher realms of consciousness and tap into the universal knowledge. The advanced state of Atlantean society was also reflected in their understanding of the cosmos. They saw the stars and planets not just as celestial bodies, but as living entities, each with its own consciousness and role in the grand cosmic design. This celestial harmony was mirrored in their societal structures, which were based on principles of balance, justice, and equality. The concept of death in Atlantean philosophy, as presented by Thoth, was also unique. Death was merely a transition to a different state of consciousness, a moment of rejoining the universal flow before returning anew. This belief led to a profound respect for life and an understanding of the interconnectedness of all existence. Thoth's message to the present age is one of awakening. He calls upon us to remember the ancient wisdoms and to rekindle our connection with the universe. He urges us to break free from the shackles of materialism and to explore the deeper, more meaningful aspects of existence. The teachings of Thoth are not just historical curiosities but are relevant to our modern quest for meaning and understanding. They challenge us to expand our perceptions of reality, to embrace the unknown, and to recognize our role in the ongoing cycle of the cosmos. In conclusion, Thoth's legacy is a beacon of ancient wisdom, illuminating a path to a more enlightened existence. 
by embracing these teachings, we can begin to understand the true nature of our being and our place in the universe. The journey towards this inner standing is not just a journey into the past but a journey within, a quest for self-discovery and cosmic alignment that transcends time and space. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.